Hey plant fam! Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Jacqueline. This is not my jungle, it's my car. I got it right this time. If you're not new here, thank you for coming back. We are in my car because my tired ass thought it would be a good idea to drive all the way to freaking Middletown, Middleton. I don't know how you're supposed to say the name of this town. Connecticut is weird, but that's where I am. And we're at the Home Depot <laughs> in Middleton town. And um, I've been here once before with my friend Chris a lot like last year at some point I genuinely don't remember maybe even longer than that and it was like eh, it was like pretty average so I'm just really desperate to go to locations that we haven't been to a million times so here we are in Middleton Town, Connecticut, and we're gonna go in and see what they have at the Home Depot. And then there's a Lowe's not far from here. I think it's technically in Cromwell, but it's not far from here. So we're gonna hop over there after this and see what the heck they have. Somebody's gotta have something, right? Like it's, it's a sunny day, it's like 40 something degrees, like that's my definition of it being nice out for January. So like, there's hope in the air. All right, let's go see what they have. Okay, fam. So voiceover Jackie coming at you. We are at the Home Depot in Middleton Town, Connecticut, however you're supposed to say it. And it's already looking pretty sparse. Unfortunately, there is some assorted foliage here, the usual stuff. I do like a good golden pothos though. This one had some really big leaves on it some Fetonia hiding in here, and then over here we had some really sad looking trending tropicals. These Trubii I have seen better days. This White Knight doesn't really have any white on it, and these Monstera Peru are definitely on the sadder side, unfortunately. They've got tons of ZZs here, some cute ponytail palms, regular sago palms i don't even know what sago palms are i don't think they're actually a palm but anyway a lot of the stuff that we do tend to see over and over again like this what i think was a global green but it's not looking good some more assorted foliage over here cute consingonium just stumbled over my words but <laughs> it's fine some pink Fetonia over here with some blooms on it. I see purple passion, never mad about some purple passion. Some really sad stuff on this table here, not even sure what some of it is. I do like these little bonsais though, have no idea how to care for them. Some hanging baskets of pothos here, not really looking all that great. Some goldfish plant around the corner. This pearls and jade is looking halfway decent, doesn't look bad, which is nice because the rest of them look pretty bad. $15.98 for these hanging baskets. I don't know why I always think they're cheaper than that. Maybe they raise the prices or maybe I'm just making stuff up in my head. So they had a really nice golden pothos. I mean, I thought it was really nice anyway. I think these are super underrated, especially if you let them climb up a pole of some sort. The leaves will get really big and fenestrated like a monstera. So they did also have a pretty straggly Hoya Chelsea hanging out here. If I didn't have so much of this plant already, I would rescue it and propagate it, but I really just do not have the time or the space for that. So hopefully somebody else will, um, because that's sad. I'm sure it was healthy at some point, but they, Hoya just tend to sit in the store. Nobody really knows what they are, like the average person, I feel like. So that is unfortunate. Looking for sport variegation on these floor plants here, some monstera, some fiddle leaf figs, um, lots of bird of paradise over there, some diphenbachia, and then some dracaena hanging out down here, a couple of cute little spider plants, whatever the heck and bob this cactus is. 
It's cute, epiphyllum. I think it's similar to some of those hanging baskets that we see. And then some anthurium over here. A lot of the usual stuff, you guys, nothing really out of the ordinary, so I'm not going to linger on the same plants over and over again. They did have their little tropical event table set up elsewhere in the store, and they have these cute alocasia for, what did that say, $15.98, $16.98? I do like the leaves on these ones. They have some nice philodendron hiding in here as well some cute ficus and then i finally spotted hiding in here a big old tortum so these are 29.98 in these woven baskets from proven winners this is the philodendron tortum and if you are in the area definitely come and snag this for 30 dollars you guys this is an absolute steal beautiful plant Really easy going, easy growing, doesn't need extra humidity or anything crazy like that. We'll need a pole eventually if you want the leaves to keep sizing up, but absolutely stunning plant. Cannot go wrong with that. Do not sleep on these. If you are in the area, come and snag them. Okay, fam, so we are at the Lowe's in Cromwell. Connecticut. I forgot what state I was in. I live here. It's fine. You know what? Everything is totally fine. I'm not sleep deprived. You're sleep deprived. Hopefully not, actually. Do you guys sleep? It's really important. But anyway, <laughs> let's just, let's go see what they have. And like, I'm just really hoping that they have something, you guys, because I drove all the way here. And you see something. I mean, they have those tortums at Home Depot, but, like, otherwise, like, that was really bad. There's no way this could possibly be worse. So, there's that at least, right? Let's go find out. Okay, fam, so we are now at the Lowe's in Cromwell, Connecticut. It's pretty close to where we just were, though, just a separate town. And they've got this whole table of plants here, some Amplissimum Silver, some Ferns mixed in, Aglionema, all these Monstera Adansonii here, some Tetrasperma, lots of Raphidophora Hayes on planks, some ZZs, all of the usual stuff again, some Calathea, and then they had these beautiful Dracaena White aspen i absolutely love these i think the contrast on these leaves is so pretty and so unique very few plants really are truly like that striking with their white so i'd be curious to know how easy it is to maintain that color on the plant so we have all of our trending tropicals again over here but i am noticing that they don't have them on clearance so a lot of the lows that we've been going to lately have tons of stuff marked down including the old stock of a lot of these trending tropicals so that's a little unfortunate but i thought this Diefenbachia was cute for 22.98 you guys know we don't do Diefenbachia in my home it is a very dangerous plant to have if you have animals that like to eat your plants so all of our floor plants over here fiddle leaf figs these philodendron or thematophyllum maybe potentially that i never know the name of xanadu who's a do i don't know it's 22.98 some more fiddly figs over here some creepy ass bromeliads and then this cute little calathea orbifolia so these are actually some new pots from urban jungle for 22 98 and i'm never mad about a new pot i do think they're really cute not my personal taste but i do still think that they are really nice pots this himalamina is also really stinking cute in my opinion allegedly and i they are just a little bit on the thirsty side but if you're okay with that it is a very easy going plant so i have no idea what in the heck and bob this is I feel like I've seen it before, but also I'm not sure if I've seen it before. 
and I don't see any label on here. I'm looking all over the place. These are $22.98. There's nothing on the tag that says what it is. It's just Urban Jungle. So if you know what this plant is, help a sister out. I would really like to know. I'm sure I can go on their website and look it up as well, but I'm sure one of you knows. So let me know in the comments below and let me know if you've seen this plant pop up in your local big box stores yet. Is it something you would buy? I feel like it looks thirsty, <laughs> so I'm going to pass on it. They did have this cute little syndapsis hiding in here for $5.98 from Trending Tropicals or from Costa Farms rather. This is the Exotic Angels collection and they had this little Manjulapothos for $7.98. I haven't really been seeing these lately, so maybe they're popping up again. I know people are always looking for them. That is the only one here, however, so there is that. Some more assorted foliage up here. Nothing exciting, nothing that we haven't seen before. And I mean, it's looking healthy at least. So there's that cute little begonia hiding in here. And then we had some hanging baskets of this lipstick plant, the Mona Lisa lipstick plant. I think the blooms on here are really stinking cute and I've definitely been seeing these pop up quite a bit. So if you're into the waxy lipstick plants, then you're definitely going to want to check for these at your local big box store because like I said, again, I have been seeing them pop up quite a bit. Cute little blue star fern. These ones are $15.98. This is the Hemigraphis, whatever the heck and bob that is. And then we have some really beautiful pothos. Again, can't go wrong with pothos, you guys. I feel like these just get super overlooked because it's a common plant, but honestly, you really can't go wrong with the pothos. They always look good. They look good trailing. They look good on a shelf. They look good as like a little bushy plant in the corner. Cute little neon there. Like, there's so many varieties, different colors, and it just automatically makes your space look more like a jungle. So, it doesn't need to be complicated. Um, some strawberry begonia hanging here. More assorted foliage. I do really like those little pink begonias. I think they're so stinking cute. But Rex begonia can kind of be a pain in the butt sometimes. So, this is what most of my lipstick plants tend to start looking like. This was a variegated one, but it's definitely looking pretty beat, pretty sad. Don't even want to take this one down because I'm afraid a bunch of leaves are just going to start falling off of it everywhere. Some more strawberry begonia, blue star fern, some more assorted foliage, lots of marble queens hiding in here. You guys know how much I love marble queen. You really can't beat that variegation some cute purple waffle here lots of different ivy varieties but nothing to write home about you guys it's looking like today is kind of a bust i do think that these pots are really cute though from live trends for 1998 some hamalamina in there some ficus different things i do love a good hamalamina this one's not super variegated, but it is really cute. And again, with this weirdo, the leaves look kind of silvery and I'm into it. This looks like something I would see like growing outside. I feel like in Florida or something. And I don't know, everything inside me, my planty intuition is telling me that it's a pain in the butt and that I shouldn't buy it. So <laughs> just checking out what's hiding back here. Nothing really different but I do like those pots, some nice philodendron down here. Philodendron Moonlight, I think, is what that one is called. And I do think this little pot of Dracaena is really cute for $24.98 as well. I love all the pots from Urban Jungle and Live Trends. This Hamalamina definitely needs a sippy sip, like ASAP. That is what they'll look like if you wait too long to water them. They did have a cute little rabbit foot fern over here for $19.98 as well. I haven't been seeing as many of those in the big box stores lately. They kind of come and go in cycles as the plants are ready to hit the market. Uh, you know, they, got, they go out. So 
some stuff that should be on clearance over here from live trends i thought this little owl was so cute i hadn't seen this one before for 6.98 how stinking adorable is that but they still have a lot of their like more wintry stuff over here that i've been seeing on clearance in other lows so definitely be aware of that there are some lows that have them on clearance and some that do not so if you are within driving distance of multiple locations you might want to hop around and check if you are looking for any of these plants and to get them for a discount not these these are new and look at the little feet on these pots so stinking cute from urban jungle from th for $13.98 I can talk everything is fine so just some more floor plants over here nothing exciting and then I found by the self checkout a little display here with some more plants on it they've got the anthurium super bum there and then you guys is this real life because I know that some people have been finding these but I totally forgot that they were out there 1898 for this Hoya Kaminkiana already on a trellis from urban jungle like I'm sorry but what you this i just it's just very unexpected i'm not gonna lie to you look at how nice and full this one is you guys it's already on a trellis for you which is amazing it's in a cute pot from urban jungle too this alocasia is adorable but obviously i'm just like super distracted by the hoya just giving you a quick peek at everything else that's here and there's tons of them this one's not looking quite as full, but there are so many that there's plenty. If you're in the area, come and snag one. These are so stinking cute, and I am not mad about it, you guys. So that is it for Lowe's. Okay, fam. I was so disappointed until the end there. Wow, so a few of you have told me that you found the Hoya Kamingiana from Urban Jungle, but I hadn't seen it for myself and I totally forgot until I saw it and I was like, holy crap, there's just like some Hoya casually hanging out here on a trellis, which is really cool. And I definitely would have snagged one if I didn't have one already. And they low-key are kind of annoying, I'm not going to lie. They're just like really thirsty, so keep that in mind if you do snag one um the soil mix they have it in is probably fine because it's probably not very chunky so they're looking pretty good some of them have new growth and i'd say that today wasn't a total bust you know the home depot at least had some tortum and the lows at least had some hoya they didn't have all of the stuff on clearance though which i think is really weird because i've been seeing pretty much all the trending tropicals and like older stock on clearance so not really sure why they're late to the game on that one but that was a Lowe's in Cromwell Connecticut and I'm so glad that I went to the self-checkout you guys live trends and like urban jungle tend to put some of their plants on a little display near the self-checkout so if you're not seeing them in the regular garden center definitely make sure you check near the registers I had to snag like paper towels and stuff so I just happened to be walking over there and I was like wait what okay 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 so took all the way until the end of the video but hey if you made it all the way here I appreciate you and you should definitely give this video a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe if you have not already hit the notification bell too if you want to be notified every time I upload which is almost every day I try my best to get you guys videos every day I'm only human sometimes I miss a day but um there's a join button if you guys want to be part of the official plant fam as well it is a really great way to support me and my channel I'm always working on new ways to give back to my members I will definitely be filming some members only stuff for you guys soon I promise <laughs> so I love you guys so so very much if you watch this whole entire video leave me chickens 
leave me chicken emojis. And literally was just the first thing that popped into my head. Farm animals are the vibe today. I just saw like a little shed back there that looked like a barn and my brain automatically went to chickens. I like chickens, little cute, little fluffy chickens. They make me happy. And, um, you should do that. Leave me some chicken emojis. <laughs> I love you guys so, so very much. I'm a little bit out of it. Can you tell? Anyway, I hope you're having a beautiful day wherever you are out there in the world. Hopefully it's as sunny and warm as it is here in Connecticut today. I love you guys. Said that already, but I say it again. I love you so, so very much. I'm losing my mind just a little bit from lack of sleep, but everything is totally fine. Um, I hope that you have a beautiful day. I said that already. Um, what do I say next? Oh, don't forget to spread kindness. <laughs> Sometimes people are assholes. Okay, I get it. But you also never know what people are going through. So don't just go around being nasty to random people who don't deserve it. If somebody's being nasty to you, girl, you have the right to defend yourself. But spread kindness. Like rainbows, wherever you go. Anyway, or like sparkles. I like the sparkle emoji. Anyway, oh my goodness, Jackie, just end the video. Don't forget to stay hydrated, fam. And I will see you in the next one, hopefully. If I didn't irritate the shit out of you on this one. Bye!